Hi, welcome to the full stack development with Angular 8 and Spring Boot. This is the part second in integrating the shopping cart template to Angular application. So let's begin. So in our previous video, we have installed all the three libraries, jQuery, Bootstrap and Font Awesome library. And in this video, we're going to add a reference to those libraries in our Angular application. So let's begin. There are so many ways to add a reference to those libraries in Angular application. In fact, there is a nice discussion in Stack Overflow. I'm going to open the link. So I'll drop a link in the description section of this video for the Stack Overflow discussion. Go ahead and read the discussion. So you will understand the different ways of adding a reference to the Angular application to those libraries. Let's open the Visual Studio code and let me minimize this terminal. So the first step is to add a reference to the bootstrap and font awesome CSS library in our global style sheet using add import statement. So let's open the global style sheet styles.css. So we're going to add a reference to those CSS library inside this style.css using the add import statement. So at the very start of the file, let's add an import statement. So within the double quotes, let's specify a path to the bootstrap CSS file. So we will start with the tilde symbol and the folder name, which is bootstrap. slash dist slash css slash bootstrap dot min dot css let's save this so now we have added a reference to the bootstrap css file let's take a copy of this and paste it let's specify a path to the font awesome css file so let's change the folder name to at fort awesome remember it's at fort awesome slash font awesome minus free slash CSS. Uh, let me get rid of this dist folder slash CSS slash all dot min dot CSS. So let's save this. So now we have added a reference to the bootstrap and font awesome CSS library. So the next step is to add a reference to the script files. So open a angular.json file. So we have this scripts property and this will take an array. So within this square brackets, we have to add a reference to the script files. Let's go to the template and if you scroll down, you can see they have added the jquery.win.js and bootstrap.bundle.win.js. So let's add a reference to these files within the square brackets. So we will start with node modules. Node modules slash jquery. slash dist slash jquery dot min dot js. Let's take a copy of this. And paste it. Let's specify a path to the bootstrap script file. Node modules slash bootstrap slash dist slash js slash bootstrap dot bundle dot min dot js all right now we have added a reference to the script files so let's save this and now let's go to the browser 
and if you take a look at the angular application you can see the changes has been applied to the application so in order to confirm this let's actually add a style to the HTML table let's go to the Visual Studio Code and open the booklist.component.html and let me minimize this and let's add a class to the HTML table so we're going to add a bootstrap class which is table so let's save this and now if you take a look at the browser you can see the bootstrap styling has been applied to the HTML table so now we have installed all the libraries to our angular application and all those libraries are working as we expected so in the next video we will start integrating our shopping cart template to this angular application that is coming up in the next video i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i will see you in the next video